folks, Quillyteen here, and welcome some more. Let's play Pathfinder Kingmaker. Still my first time playing this game. Still currently pre-recording it. Um, so nothing, you know, no video's gone live yet. I'm really just in the mood to play right now, so I'm just hyper-focusing on that, because this is the sort of game, I think, where I have to stay in the right brain space. So I'm focusing on gaming right now, and I'll figure out, you know, getting up on YouTube and editing and thumbnailing and stuff later on. So I'm just gonna keep going with the flow for now. We've got two kind of quests in the area where we are. We've got Tusk Gutter's Lair over here, as well as the Technique League encampment, although I'm kind of terrified, but the random encounter I had with those guys was scary as hell. For the main quest, I do have to go back to Oleg's trading post, but I figured since we're here, we'll check out the lair. Something like that. Um, let's hope we can go down the river and see it. There it is. Does seem to be the case. Tranquil River Bend. I mean, we could visit it while we're here. We don't have a quest for it. Maybe maybe we can do things out of order and stuff and it's fine. But I think what I'm gonna do is I wanna make sure to deal with at least Tuscutter's lair here before we go back because we can probably turn in the quest there afterwards. And if we use up all of our resources dealing with, you know, um, if, if, if there's a bunch of fighting in Tranquil Riverbend and then we run out of resources or whatever, I'm gonna focus on finishing the, at least this first and then I might decide to come back here. But I suspect we'll do this, then this, and then probably just head back. We'll see. Resting would be nice, don't you think? Oh, and we are tired. So definitely before we go in here and before we get a random encounter, we will go ahead and do a rest. Now, I guess, I mean, I'm wondering if I should save my rations for when I'm in a place where I can't rest, like inside of a dungeon or something, but I'm still a little concerned about, you know, the time sensitivity of everything. So, no, I'll use the rations here so we don't have to spend hours hunting. We'll still hunt and we'll get some amount of rations. Let's see what we can get going here. so kind, so naive, but there are many evil people in the world. Will your goddess be able I'm to- I'm assuming she's talking to Tristian. And honestly, I'm not sure he can even protect himself. I pray for her to grant me- I really should- <sighs> Hang on. I know the everything just paused. Uh, Pathfinder build. Like, wh what do we do with this guy? I hate that he can't wear armor. And I don't know if he's got much in the way of defensive spells. I don't know. We'll keep using him for now, but I'm, I'm actually not sure- how to make use of him. Certainly we're gonna have to find him a freaking range thing so that he doesn't run into combat all the time. One day all this will end. And then you will be- I don't know if I can, maybe I'll just turn off AI. Um, I don't think I can turn it off per character, which is a bit annoying. No food, no hearty meal, at least the camouflage worked. So hopefully we don't get a random encounter here. Okay. Uh, how do we get to the lair? Is that this way? Ooh, what is this? Runes of an old temple. Surviving walls, covered exquisite mosaics, kingdom resource. Points of interest are tourists and explorers. Ah, this is how we summon adventurers to our kingdom once we get it going on. All right, let's go to the lair. Enter this. I should check. Maybe, does he have light armor proficiency or just no armor proficiency whatsoever? Ooh, it's foggy here. Um, abilities... I think... I don't see any armor proficiency whatsoever. I don't... I don't like this guy! Yeah, we'll have to get you something ranged. Next time I pick up a random crossbow or something. Um, interestingly enough, you may as well equip this quarterstaff instead of the scimitar. Since you don't even have a shield, and it is a plus one at least. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna really have to micro Tristian here, so that he doesn't run into melee and die. With his freaking 11 AC. And 12 con. Yeah, I'm going to be eager to find someone else, I think. I don't know. Maybe he's really cool. Maybe he's like a fan favorite. So I'm sorry to be talking shit about this guy, but right now, things are feeling awkward. Let's do a little quick save now that we're here. Although probably ought to... Oh! Here, the monster's here. I'll tell him part. Just watch me. Yes, continue. Custom where I am from. A boy kills a monster in front of elders to prove he's man. And our tribe girls don't get no initiation at all, so I arranged a trial myself. Like in the song about Kaggle the Orphan. I downed a cave lion in a single combat. Here, see the scars I got in that battle. And do you know what my elders did after I threw the lion skin at their feet? Uh, they totally admitted they were wrong. Mm. I'm thinking two. You know what? I'm just going to let her talk. They laughed in my face. They said I scratched my belly myself and hired some man to kill the lion for me and trade for... Uh. Later, they agreed to my initiation. Of course, they had no choice, but... 
Mary's voice wavers in anger, and she spits on the ground. Wait. Do you want to... Are you implying that you want a single combat tusk cutter? But, you, but they agreed to your initiation. Are you think... Do you feel like it was never valid and you want to do it again? Must you really slam in single combat? Take our whole party to bring this tusk cutter down. From distance, she... We can't even see him. Brr. Um, examines tusk cutters, muscular body, and sharp tusks. But, think I can't butcher a pig by myself? Though if the elves saw the beast was about to kill the boy, they would help him. There's no shame in that, but it doesn't matter. I'm just saying, now you stand and watch me gutting the beast. Well, I'm still a little confused. I'm gonna hit this. Watch me? She charges the boar. Oh, shit. You are going alone. Um... This seems like a terrible idea. Um. Okay, the rest of the party is going to join. I don't know if she's going to get cranky if I don't solo it. If I don't let her solo it. Tuscutter, 74 hit points. 21 AC. We don't know how... What is attack... Well, we know what his base attack bonus is. Gore, melee... Hold on, can I see what the damage... It's going to be a lot with his strength. 27 strength. Damage. Holy shit balls! So two hits and she's going to go down. Yeah, you're not soloing this thing. Maybe if you got, like, two more levels on you. I'm really sorry, but we're definitely helping. I'm actually going to pull her back to the party. Um, since you're out of range anyway, why don't you drink your mutagen? You can start singing. We'll bless when everyone's grouped up. Oh, yeah, we have to make sure Tristian doesn't die. Well, let's have him summon... A wolf. Actually, I wonder about a pack of dogs might be better. 1d3. But we might roll low. Because that's always the thing. I think the, the dogs, this is the um, what you get from the summon monster 1. And then the higher levels, you, you get the option of summoning a stronger creature or multiple lesser creatures. Okay, everyone's going to be grouped up in a second here. Let's start the bless on Jathael. And we're going to charge here with Valerie. Oh, he's out of range. I must be doing it wrong. There it is just to make sure she closes in on that first, and she does have the superior AC. Okay. What do you think you're doing? I think I can, you think I can't do it alone. That's exactly what, maybe I should let her fall. Shit, now I kinda wanna try, like, just letting her try to solo it, and then go down, and then we save her, what would that do? Is she gonna be really pissed at me? Well, let's keep going as is, and then, I don't know, I'm tempted to like, do some reloads and see what the different possibilities are. I, there's no way she can solo this. I mean, she could get really lucky on her all her rolls. Of course, that's possible, but... Right, turn and attack. Do rage. Alright, there's a summon-ish, I thought. I guess you're still casting it. Avenge me. Oh my god. Uh, while well, our tank just went down, Valerie. Miss, miss, miss. It has a huge AC too, doesn't it? Uh, Tristian wants to run forward and die again. So instead, I'm going to force him to summon another creature. Uh, I don't think I can Hideous Laughter. Yeah, because you're not humanoid. I guess you may as well use some more wand charges, although it really doesn't do a lot of damage. I'm going to burn through some of these components. Well, we're going to drop bombs on this guy. His touch AC is really accessible, so that's going to be quite nice for Quill. Drink a potion. Tristan's going to have to be close to the front line to be able to drop some heals. Yeah, I'm going to deactivate the AI. I'll clearly have to babysit them. I'm assuming the question mark means they don't have an action. Or... I don't know. I'm not sure. I mean... Well, you're down, so you can't do anything. You're definitely meleeing. You're definitely meleeing. And you're not being targeted. So let's activate your Judgment of Justice for the plus one. Maybe even the Divine Favor, honestly. It might be worthwhile. I hate that you're losing a round of action. But it might be worthwhile. 
Scorching Ray or do I drop some more heals? I think we drop some more heals here. I'm gonna drop a Cure Moderate on Amiri. Hopefully it goes off before she goes down again. Survive. Uh, I always survive. You got critted for 25 and then healed for 11. So I think you're gonna pick back up, although you'll probably have to actually stand again, which is less than great. And here you thought you could solo this thing. I mean, like no offense, but this thing is devastating. Let's get another Cure Moderate going on Amiri. And in fact, let's get some more heals. I hate that Lindsay's gonna have to walk all the way up here to do it, but she might even be out of range for a chant. No, there's the range. Inflict last wounds. I think her just attacking is better. Okay, well, let's hit a divine favor and then have you keep attacking. And as for me, oh, we can still drop a shield over here to Miri. That seems like a good idea. Oh, she's just gone down again. Can we? Can we not get you up? Oh my God, you're dying. This thing is just murdering everyone. Okay. Survive. Amiri's back up. Survive. And down again? She stands up and instantly gets gored one more time. What? We can't do with this. All right. Let's think about my resources. We'll probably have to restart the fight. I mean, it's a touch attack. So it might be worth, but it can't be used by a divine caster. So it would have to be a used magic device. Actually, yeah, we use a skill check. So that's not helpful. Doom, shocking grab. These are all like a bunch of level one spells. So I'm not sure the value. Um, that's only one round per level. We have some extra heals. So this doesn't stack with my shield from, um, from my main character. Call Lightning. Well, Call Lightning's probably worthwhile. No, you can't use it, and then we can do a Use Magic Device, which I think I have the best Use Magic Device. I suppose that's a that's an option. Yeah, but just trying to outheal the damage is definitely not part of the plan. We don't have a Disable for this thing. That's what's kind of messing with me here. I don't think, anyway. I can't laughter you. I mean, I could... I suppose I could use this daze. Nope, has to be a humanoid. Uh, I mean, this works if we hit. You are dazed for a round and you still take some damage. I mean, maybe stacking some of those would work. Let me use my cure moderate on, actually rather than bringing up Amiri, hold on, change of plans. We're gonna try to bring up Valerie because she actually should be tankier. And actually, yeah, do an inflict wounds on Jathale. And cure light wounds on Valerie. Or no, sorry, you were... Screaming? Screaming. Yeah, let's try that. Okay, that's some damage. He's not bloodied yet, though. I mean, I don't think bloody is an actual condition here, but I always like that as a short form for at half health. All right, Fortitude screen save, you made it. That's unfortunate. I like the sound though, it's quite cool. There you go, an inflict wound just went off. Let's do another one here. And... Did she get healed and then drop down again? Maybe because she's prone. Maybe that's the thing, I'm healing them. So they're alive again, but then they're immediately falling down, or they're still prone, so they get easily targeted. Maybe even free crits? I mean, they should be awake. Fudge. Well, I'm about to get destroyed by this thing. This was not Fucking part hell. of the plan. He's just one-shotting us. Am I doing things out of order? It's only one round, or then you get the long version. Yeah, sure. Maybe I'm doing things critically out of order. 
Well, this guy's gonna kill us. I mean, we did get him down to about half. I mean, it, I'm not, I'm not actually trying anymore. Yep, down you go. Only Lindsay's up, and she's about to get obliterated here. Well, he's down to a quarter. Okay. The screams might be a better thing to get started with early here. Um, let's, uh, let's just reload this. From my quick save. Do, 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 do. Uh, I could even do some, like, reduce and large person stuff. Okay, I'm let's do some pre-buffing here. Speak. Bless. No mistake. Mutagen. Adventures call to them. Uh, I don't think there's. I can't really pre-buff with the song. I mean, she might be able to drink a potion. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna enlarge you, even though it will make you easier to oh. hit. There, we'll shield the faith you with a potion. Time's not waiting. Wait, is mutagen constitution? Where's my mutagen dexterity? Oh, hang on. I didn't realize I had a couple of these now. Um, minus two to charisma. We still get natural AC bonus. Probably doesn't stack with the other mutagen, but that seems okay. I will pre-shield Amiri. Because she definitely needs it. Now, sure, self-shielded a little bit. Oh, that does not last very long. I am your shield. All right. Wait for her to continue. Uh, here. What does this do? I wish. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's still not gonna happen. I mean, this thing wiped her entire party in in another. I need a challenge. Um. In another timeline. Nope. Nope. Run back. Run back. Run back. Okay. No one's going to turn and engage. Except for Tristian, who would otherwise be dying. Let's get ourselves a summon monster. Okay, you fired there, which is great. But we're going to do this. And yeah, we're going to see if we can do ear piercing screams to get some dazes on there. Which I think is maybe just minus two to rolls. I can't remember exactly. Okay, you're currently fighting defensively. Now let's leave it on, because I don't want... Well, no, let's turn it off now. We'll just have to keep an eye. When he changes targets away from Amiri, good god, we just did a huge amount of damage now. Why is this fight going so much better? Maybe I should turn on turn-based mode. It'd be a lot easier to manage these spells and also make sure Tristian doesn't die. All right, let's do it. What I don't like as much is that I will have to be a little bit more explicit with some of the mac microing. Um, I didn't actually finish a bless, did I? Okay, Tristan, you can do a bless. And what are the buttons? Free, swift, I guess it's showing me that I still have those actions. Five foot step, uh-huh. How do I... There we go, end turn, speed up animation. Because I think that's it. I don't want you running forward. I just want you nearby to be ready to drop some heals there, buddy. And then myself... You know, this is probably going to make our life a lot easier. At least for these tough fights, I think it's going to be worth doing that. Um, let's go for the Alchemist Bomb, because it's touch AC and very easy to land. Ah, and we see the dice rolls and everything. Good. Um, I may as well scrooch forward. Is it only 5%? Is this a full round action? No, standard action. Maybe it already moved some this round before I went into turn-based combat. Or maybe there's a toggle I'm going to have to do. At least with the five-foot step mechanic, I don't, I can also avoid attacks of opportunity. Okay, this thing's at half health. I, honestly, I probably should have done this right away. This is so much easier. I do really like the possible real-time mechanic, but this is actually probably going to be so much better for us. Okay, see, so I can see the full move. How do I... If I can I click this to limit it to a five-foot? There we go. Okay. Not that I think there's any reason to take any move whatsoever here. But just trying to figure out the uh, the UI. And I guess that's showing the attack of opportunity right there. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Done. Maybe I drank a potion with my character so I didn't have... I don't know. So, Valerie, you're just going to melee attack and miss. And then end your turn, which is space bar. Lindsay, you are going to do another ear-piercing scream. Try to keep those dazes for one round. It failed at saving throw. So, theoretically, this guy's dazed now. I wonder if there's a way to check... Um, if I go here and go Encyclopedia, common terms? Nope, I don't see days in there. Combat? Is this searchable? I don't see a search bouton. Common terms. Is there, there's no condition, there's no days. I wonder if I look up uh, arcane spells. I look. Hmm. I don't know if there's a way to find out what the effect of days in game. Probably there is, but I don't know what it is. All right, Lindsay. So you've done that. Yeah, your your standard action was the ear piercing scream, and why can I only five foot? Okay, it might still be part of the same round where I used some other thing for the move action. I'll step forward, because I would like Lindsay to be a little closer in case I need to heal, because heal's a touch range thing. Wretched things. There we go. Um, oh, we could toggle on some modes, too. This is literally just a toggle, which is theoretically on now. Oh, there's no glow. What mode I'm on? Oh, I don't know. Round two. See what I mean? We got Bless, we got Shield of Faith. I mean, unless this is just for one round. Could that be possible? Maybe that's why she's glowing? There's clearly still some things I need to sort out here. Despicable. I wonder if I might be able to manage some soloing if I was just going turn-based here. It might be a lot easier. Anyway, you're done. Okay, so Tristian. I don't want you moving up, although the thing is, I mean, you're even garbage in melee combat. Like, you're garbage in everything. Just like, <laughs> we're definitely not wanting you to melee up. So what do you do when you're not doing that? Um, what are your cantrips? Do you have anything spammable? Like, resistance is not going to be terribly useful. Light's not going to be useful here. Virtue, one temporary hit point. Guidance, no. Yeah, I'll have to give you a range thing just to keep you busy. We know this thing can, like, knock a person down in a single hit. So we're going to go ahead and burn a charge for Scorching Ray. And miss. Is it really? It's a, uh... Where did it say... The targeting. I'm assuming it's a ranged touch attack. Fire one ray. Each ray requires... Oh, there it is. Ranged touch attack. Which I have no dexterity. Okay, Tristian... Uh, you might be useful as a healing bot and a buffing bot, but that is literally all. I'm going to have to change his memorizations. And yeah, I don't think he's going to be a winner for our group here. Okay, apparently now that we're in turn base mode, Tuskutter is just turning into garbage. And really making a mockery out of this first fight. So I'm going to move up, just in case I need to do more things, but we're going to stay there. Amiri, you don't need to use any of your abilities. We're going to miss and end our turn. Valerie, you're just going to melee. Hey, there we go. 20, not a natural 20. No crit, but... And then Lindsay. So these are burning the spells, which could also be Cure Light Wounds. On the other hand... Yeah, uh, oh, it is saved for half. And it is against Fortitude, which is probably his best save. Yeah, plus nine. Mm, I don't know, maybe, I could sh maybe I'll just get you to bow here. Serves you Are we going to get through this without taking damage this time? God, that last fight was so embarrassing then. Wait, round three. And yeah, I think the movement was because I made the switch from real time to turn-based. 
I think it had already used the move action for a bunch of these guys. Advance. Good. And pause. And Tristian. You know what? Why don't you move up there and swing? No, that's so stupid. Why don't you just stand here and do nothing? Um, again, because his touch AC is crap, we'll do this rather than shoot. And there we go. Now, how pissed... Help Amir kill Cus... So that's interesting. So it sort of became her quest? It's interesting, because we got provided the quest from Oleg. And I thought it was just a generic go and kill this thing quest. But I guess Amiri sort of took it on herself. She did interact in the conversation. Being heavily, Amiri stands over the corpse of the fallen monster. What'd you say? See me in action? I almost chopped his head off. Well, as long as you're not pissed. Yes, a real epic battle, just like the sagas. Won't even have to embellish it for the books. That's it. Trial done. No one dares say Amiri is weak. Okay. You're a valiant warrior. Were there truly fools who doubted your strength? Some did, you know. I spit on them. No one dare bark at me now. Still, why do you want to kill this monster? You passed this test back when you were with your tribe, didn't you? Exactly. Or is this a new tribe? Um, well, not just pups must pass this test. If a man is newcomer to tribe, he must bring a monster's hide, prove he's not weak. So we're like a new tribe, is what I'm thinking. Yes, see, I'm honored to consider you consider me part of a new tribe. You're a strong and valiant warrior. Exactly. Oh, she's embarrassed. That's kind of cute. Troll tribe idea only helped you. No. No, 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 no. Just don't start this, that... Don't talk me about honor and valor. I know already. Still, when she's being voice acted, I don't think she talks with, like, the missing grammar, does she? I hadn't really noticed this sort of barbarian speak. Still, I owe you thanks. You have a true chief's heart. You know what? If we meet another monster like this, I'll kill it too. Not for a test. Just, just that no one would ever dare say Amiri is an warrior. And see, and here it's like, is it just me or is just tone changing, right? I don't know. Maybe I'm misreading it. Maybe I'm dropping words. And she's not actually doing the barbarian speak. Help Amir kill another mighty monster. Okay. Maybe this is part of, um, just, you know, she's gonna, um, like, like loyalty quest kind of thing almost as we kill more, like, big-ass, scary, cool monsters. I'm assuming there's no more baddies over here, but I was gonna say there's probably gonna be some dead bodies or other loot. Uh, what is this? Wanted to find traps. Cool. Honey? <gasps> we can make pancakes! Single honey. Not much. Okay, edge of the map over there. Okay, so convenient that we can move around the map this way. I'm not expecting much else over here. Man, I should have gone into turn-based combat right away. It's gonna make our life so much easier. And mostly, you know what the big thing about it is? Is it mostly means that Tristian's not gonna die again and again. I think this is probably all, but I just as it kind of wanted to make sure. It's like, turns out there's some like awesome hidden loot on this map. Yeah, I think the turn-based combat is going to be so much better for us. But at the same time, it sort of emphasizes how useless Tristian is because we're like skipping a bunch of his actions. Poor guy. I mean, cleric is a really powerful class with great spells. Um, well, I mean in D and D, but I'm assuming the same case is here. All right, let's go to this encampment. Although, I don't know if I can go north here. No. Maybe I have to go down from here. May we have a moment of respite? Ooh, Tristan is tired. He's the only one so far. Let's do this fight. Hope no one else is exhausted. Because <clears throat> if we're about to rest, we may as well do a fight and expend some of our resources. Oh, pre-buff, pre-buff, pre-buff. Right here, my stop, friend. Stop, stop, stop. Um, grab everyone. In due time. Stop over here. Share your troubles. And so you don't have a bless, but you do. I, I don't have any more potions. So that's okay. I'm going to try inspire courage and hope it doesn't end before we actually enter into combat here. But we can always toggle it back on. Um, where, where was the where's the random fight that was promised? Let's go to high ground. I hear that's a good move. Did I not click, like, to engage an enemy in a fight? What is happening? Wilderness encounter. I Maybe I just encountered some wilderness.
Guys? You oh. cannot stand against me. Playing with the auto end turn option enabled. That option will allow the game to end the turn automatically when character finishes their standard and move actions. Do you want to leave this option enabled? So, the only thing would be if I, there were free actions and things I want to use. You know what? No, I don't want it enabled. I want to explicitly end action. Alright, Jathale. Might Stone Thrower. I haven't seen this. I don't know what a might is. It is Lawful Evil, Fighter Fey. Two total hit dice. It has damage reduction unless we use Cold Iron. Alright, well, I, this seems fine. Why don't you charge this guy? <laughs> so there's the damage reduction. But other than that, I don't think it's a particular problem. So we got this. I'm just checking, you know, it's going to be nice to be able to confirm what these things are. It's a free action to toggle on fight defensively. Uh, I'm curious. Can I toggle this on at the end of my round, then toggle it off at the start and avoid penalties? So right now I see 17. It's still showing a 17 over here. It'll be interesting to see if that applies if we get counterattack here. Okay, he did a range attack, which triggered a range an attack for opportunity. So I still don't know if the fight defensively is abusable. I suspect they were probably smart and made it not abusable. Um, it's probably not going to properly apply until the start of my next turn or something like that. And I don't know. But if I can toggle it off and still attack and not get a combat penalty, that'd be huge. Anyway, um, I mean, we are going to rest soon, but maybe in case we get attacked at night, I'll keep my alchemist bombs and just try to shoot. Although, the alchemist bombs would skip the damage reduction. Okay, see, here again, I can only do a five-foot step. Am I using a move action to draw something out of my bag? Okay, Lindsay has her full move. You deserved it. Okay, she had to move to get in range, then I don't use the move. Because it is like third edition rules where you can't split your move up. And I'm I'm wondering if that's part of what's going on here, but no, that doesn't explain the five foot step thing. So yeah, Lindsay can't use the rest of her action now, which is unfortunate, but not the end of the world. We're just trying to kind of learn here. Um Well, you may as well... Is this a touch? Ugh. I think close range. Alright, well. We'll hit her with that anyway. I should use my full moon move again, though. Oh yeah, flat-footed. That's a whole thing. No, I can't reach the That's interesting. You get to move double your normal speed and attack. How come I can't reach you? I can definitely do a double move to this range. How come I can't try? Oh, maybe because I don't have a clear line. That's possible. Maybe because it's not a clear line, I can't charge. And yeah, I didn't get quite enough to reach you. Down. And probably the same thing, right? I can't charge this one, no. I must be doing it wrong. Speed up animation. Onwards. Get up there, but yeah, you had the double move to reach. Okay. That's starting to make sense. That's fine. Very comfortable with this mode. Um so right now. Jathale is now fighting defensively. Okay, so we'd have a minus four in our attack rolls. I don't think that buff was present until the start of her turn. So now I can toggle it off. Oh shit, and I moved, which isn't what I wanted to do. But it's still present, so I, you can't abuse it. Unworthy. Okay, so I'm going to have minus four to hit this time because I'm fighting defensively. But if I look at my character sheet, I do have the AC bonus. Now, I wonder if I hit that button as my literal first action of the round, like before I attack, if it would apply instantly. Uh, maybe I'll try it on one of these other characters and see what happens. Um, 
You chose poorly. Okay, combat is over. Is it... Is it not over? Maybe it's letting everyone finish their actions? Oh! That would explain why. Okay. There's more baddies over there. Now, can you charge? You can. Yeah, and it lo I think it's a straight line problem. All right, well, that'll get through the uh, damage reduction. And that is the end of the combat. Okay. Well, you know, it wasn't a very scary fight, but it was a really good opportunity to learn some combat mechanics with the turn-based mode. And actually just maybe remind myself more of, you know, some of the D&D mechanics slash Pathfinder mechanics. Achievement progress, Survivor 3 of 10. Yeah, it must be about surviving random encounters. Right, you're tired. Let me move a little bit more. You being exhausted is not the end of the world. I was going to say, everyone else is probably going to get exhausted soon. So we're going to rest before we jump in here. I'm going to use some supplies because we are going to go back to camp soon. So we'll save a little bit of time. Look at me. I am Jathar. <laughs> Boo! I am a horrible... <laughs> Where's my sight? Uh, Ergothoa will give you the wisdom of death. You are so pathetic, you ridiculous short-lived... Oops. Careful. I might make you into my own private jester. You'll be telling me your jokes forever and ever. <laughs> Excellent. Hey, free food rations. Lovely. All right, everything else failed. Did we get a random encounter? No, okay. Let's check this Technique League encampment and uh, see if they want to trade. I've got some Lego bricks we could trade for some of their Technique bits, something like that. I don't know. We're going to enter the location, but it looks like it is time to put a cut in this, so I will do that now. Hopefully we don't immediately get a conversation or cutscene. No, we didn't. Perfect. Folks, thanks a lot for watching. Um, I actually think the turn-based mode is probably going to be the right way to continue here, so I'm excited to look into that. Oh, I meant to change your memorization since your Scorching Rays kind of poop over here. Ugh, I'll never remember. Thanks a lot for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.